So what are some other most popular supplements or well-studied supplements that you've seen in your practice that help people with memory? Well, one of the supplements most of viewers probably have not heard about is called cetacholine. Mm -hmm. And cetacholine is a natural nutrient. Um, you can get it as a supplement. And it's been shown in several very good studies to help with memory. Um, it actually helps your brain cells produce energy better. And just like all the cells of the body, your cells in your brain has to produce energy effectively for your memory to work properly. Mm -hmm. um, so very, very important. It also neutralizes what are called free radicals, these damaging types of molecules which can actually damage your brain cells. Mm -hmm. And so acetylcholine helps to offset that. Is now if that's a supplement, it's not IV, they can take it orally, is that correct? Uh, well, interestingly, it's, there's, the food sources people generally aren't going to consume. The, the, the food sources high in citicoline are liver and brain. Yeah, that's not going to so be that's probably Yeah, that's gross. <laughs> can't recommend that, recommend that too often. But there's been several studies done on citicoline. Let me uh, read a few for okay. you. They did, for example, a study with older adults. And citicoline supplementation was shown to significantly improve immediate memory and short-term memory. Um, How so long very, did it take, very does it say? Most of the studies are 8 to 12 weeks. Is it a natural in our body, citicoline? Yes. So it's another one of those nutrients that we could be, quote-unquote, deficient in. Yeah, it's not considered an essential nutrient, okay. but citicoline taken at higher levels definitely in numerous studies helps to improve memory. Interesting. And it's non-toxic. Mm -hmm. Now, don't get me wrong, it does not cure Alzheimer's disease. Uh, may slow its progression to some degree. But nevertheless, it's one way you can improve the quality of life in someone who does have Alzheimer's disease mm -hmm. uh, without any toxicity. And remember, these types of things, often you can combine with their medications. Of course, they would need to check with your doctor first before you do that, but mm -hmm. um, very, very safe to use.